It's the Nippon Spain Cup, Sri Lanka versus Zimbabwe. It's a second T20 game at the R. Premadasa International Stadium. First, let's take a look at the two teams. This is the Sri Lankan side. There's one change for Sri Lanka. Nuan Tushara being left out and Dilshan Madhushankar. Yeah, that's a very strong bowling unit. And yeah, their resources are quite good. What about Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe going in with an unchanged team. There was a slight niggle when it came to Williams, but I think he's past fit. So he's going to be an important cog in this wheel. Second T20 international between Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe. Sri Lanka lead the series 1-0. It's the Nippon Paints Cup. Patum Nisanka. Failure in the first T20 international. Didn't play the ODIs. Well, here's another opportunity to score some runs at the other end. Very, very impressive, Richard Ngarava. He's got the new ball in his hands. Zimbabwe on the toss. Elected to field first, Amir. He's been good. Extra bounce, back of a length has really worked for Richard Ngarava. Oh, top edge, top edge. And the fielder didn't have to move an inch. Jong went. And blessing Muzarabani has been blessed with the wicket here. Caught at deep square leg. This time, edge flies away to third man. Just the start Zimbabwe needed. And for this man as well to get his spirits up. Another failure for Patum Nisanka. He gets only one, Sri Lanka one for one. Kusal Pereira to the middle, 16, 77 runs within striking distance. Apesh, that's the second one. The extra bounce really working for Zimbabwe. Sri Lanka unable to cope with it. Ryan Ball takes the catch. And by picking up those two wickets, he has given the control of the game to his captain, who was looking for this. Early wickets, when he uh, elected to bowl first. Pereira not one for two. Sadira Samara Vikrama is out there. Leg side, he's picked that up. Oh, it's gone all the way. He's timed it ever so sweetly. Samara Vikrama. With his chip that actually scooped it to point. At the same spot, backward to point. Went after it. Went after it. Couldn't control the stroke. Went straight to the fielder at backward point. And yet again, it's 24-3. Charita Salanka is the new batter. Yeah. Come on. They're asking for a catch. They're asking for a catch. They're very confident. The wicketkeeper thinks he's out. And Sadira Samaravikrama walks away. That's another very soft dismissal. And this will be probably the most softest. Probably of the glove. Bounce, some turn for Mesakadza. Sri Lanka. Uh, in deep trouble, familiar territory. Summer come gone for 16. Sri Lanka in trouble, 27 for 4. Well, this is Angelo Matthews' stats. Good strike rate, mid 20s. Goes over extra cover. Behind point, in fact. For a moment, I thought it was over extra cover. The angle taking it uh, to backward point. But a very, very important boundary for Sri Lanka. And Zimbabwe using the spin, but this is hit by Asalanka, greeting Williams. It's first delivery. They need a few shots like this, Russell. And it's a good start to the over. Swings it away on the left side. Has he found it? Yes, he has. Gone all the way for six. Another welcome six for Charit Asalanka. Short delivery. That is 50. What an innings from Charita Salanka is fifth. 
in his T20 career and he's, believe it or not, his first ever in Sri Lanka. 15 done, it's 101 for four. Slow one, it's gone fast and high of Angelo Matthews bat. They are enjoying themselves, he picked it up, the change of pace. Salanka managed things at that stage. Now Matthews, after taking his time, he's catching up, he's pushing on. Oh, that's big. That's big. The fielder who's back just turns his head to see how far over the boundary it goes. Local toss. There's a fielder back. It won't matter. It will not matter. Local toss once again. It's in the air. Fielder's back. And he completes the catch. Sean Williams. The bottom, of, bottom hand coming off the bat. And Sean Williams judged it well. A brilliant knock by Janet Kasalanka. 69 of 39. Sri Lanka 145 5. Ball to go in the 18th over. Sri Lanka looking good. Former captain Dasun Shanaka. Fielder at mid on. It goes past them to his left. Wellington Masakata. Another boundary. Half century for Angelo Matthews, his sixth in this format. Oh, local toss up in the air. Ryan Bull running in. And then he completes a very good catch. Well, missed out Dustin Chanaga. He had to go for it. A couple of boundaries. He was trying to probably go over mid wicket. Beat for pace and a good catch. That's on Chanaka, 9 of 4. Sri Lanka, 160 for 6. Captain walks out to the middle. One into Hasaranga. Oh, that is a beautiful strike. I think it's gone one bounce. But you won't hit a cricket ball straighter than this. He's gone again. Field of back. It's a great effort from Ryan Ball. Short. And it'll work to the new man because he hasn't had time in the middle. Good option to close off the innings. From Muzarabani. Sri Lanka end up 173 for six. They should feel that's more than enough for Abis. Great comeback, a great fight back. Initially four wickets fell cheaply. Nisanka Mendes Pereira and Samara Vikrama and then experience Angelo Matthews and youngster Charita Salanka that magnificent partnership Charita Salanka stole the show with 69 of 39 deliveries with three maximums Right, Zimbabwean bowlers Jogwen Zarabani two apiece the other two go to Ngarawa and Wellington Masakadza so 173 for six 174 of 20 overs if they are to square the series and set a grand finale on the 16th, correction, on the 18th of January. Greg Irving, Dinashe Kamunu Kamwe. That's a short mid wicket, that's a slip. He'll be bringing the ball back in. Kamunu Kamwe likes to go big. He tries, he misses because Madhushanka swings it in. Oh, pick that up. Length was there and he's played that very, very nicely. Couple calm way. First boundary. This is Apesh. Hasaranga is getting underneath it. And he takes it. Matu Shankar gets his man. Take a look. I think it hit him high up on the bat. And nicely taken by the captain. Dinashi Kamal Kam has got 12, 22 for one. Very new. Just the 20 years old. 
usage of the feet, hits the ball conservatively over mid off for four runs. Shot. It's a very good shot from Craig Urban. Realized straight away that. It's the reverse sweep. It's gone high. And just the one bounce. Perfect start to the over. This is clever batting. Brings up uh, Craig Urban's 50. He's 950. He's first in Asia. was brought into the attack for. What a delivery from Mark Tikshana. Certainly obliging the captain there. Fooled the batter. Forced him on the back foot. And that was it. Flicked it through. Skittered through. And hit the stumps. But he's played well, Brian Bennett. 25 to him. It's 96 for two. Oh, takes that on. Deep mid wicket. Samara Vikrama judges it to perfection. Seemed like he was anticipating a shot pitch delivery. He was in a good position. Hit the ball straight to the fielder, placed at mid wicket. Not from the middle of the bat, too. He was sitting deep. Samara Vikrama in from the boundary line because it's a long hit. Sikandaraza. He's a big wicket and they've got it. He's gone for eight. 105 for three. Sean Williams is in at five. And they'll get him another. Oh, Hasaranga made a mess of it. Can you believe it? He got bowled over for no reason, Hasaranga. Well, you're not catching it for me. I'll look to hit the stumps. Sean Williams, that he's going to get some runs. It looked completely out of sorts once again. And he's been removed from the centre. Ryan Burl is the new batter. Pick that up. Tikshana. Hold on to it, but a wonderful effort though. It was a magnificent effort. Ball the winner gets a four. One of them has to go one more. That's a pickup shot. Oh, I mean, Rickard. Craig Irvine has not let finish off. It's goodly picked up early. Train through the line and a massive six over mid wicket. Craig Irvin looking to go down the ground, leading edge, and gone. Myers Tikshana takes the catch. Both another googly. Think Craig Irvin picked it, but still backed himself to go a bit because takes a good catch. Irvine, a good 70 of 54 deliveries, Zimbabwe, 131.5. Ryan Burr will hit the ball to the leg side and asleep. Oh, now sound. It was a puff of dust when the ball went past, so might have been back on the ground. Hasaranga's gone upstairs. Will the director play review for Co behind? Original decision is not out. I have checked the front uh, feet. It's a fair delivery. Go to front on, please. Front foot coming, Ravi. So I need to check the ultra on, uh, ultra edge on this, please. Okay, ultra edge coming up. Okay, roll it forward. Yeah, there's a spike, but uh, roll forward, please. Roll forward. Roll forward. Yeah. And you need to reverse your original decision, not out to out. You're on camera. Make the signal now. The big cheer is because. The crowd on the big screen saw the spike go up as the ball went past the back. They've enjoyed it. 
and Ryan Burl has to go. But he's gone for 13. 1, 4, 3 for 6. Oh, Clive Madande! Hello! That's huge! Matthews. Oh, Luke Jongwe! You beauty! That has gone a long, long way! It's been called a no ball. Oh my god. It's the first start Sri Lanka could have imagined. Maximum, no ball, free hit coming up. Well, Zimbabwe would have been happy with six runs as the first ball of the over. Slow ball, Luke Jongwe goes down the ground. That's gone all the way to. That's gone straight up in the air. It's gone a long way up. Fielder getting under it. Myers Dixon has put it down. Unbelievable things here. They cannot bear it. It's all happening. Myers Dixon took a good catch earlier. What will he do? He'll hit it. And he'll hit it for six. He's done it before for Zimbabwe towards the end of the innings. Clive Fernande, he does it again. Sikander Raza has thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, lovely scenes for Zimbabwe here at the R Premadasa. Sri Lanka put into bat, 173 for six. Outstanding 100 run partnership between Asalanka and Matthews. Zimbabwe in pursuit, 178 for six. They win by four wickets.